What's going on, peeps? We have a dumbbell follow along session for you here to try. We're going to go total body here today, uh, kind of cover everything for the most part. 40 seconds of the work, 25, excuse me, 20 uh, seconds you guys of rest. We'll go through all four cycles that way. At the very end, we'll do one minute of max burpees, which is awful, but we'll see how many we can unpack and see if you guys can beat uh, what I can unpack at that point. So, again, we're going to go dumbbell chest press. Dumbbell goblet squat, dumbbell bent rows, we're gonna go dumbbell reverse lunges, and then we'll try dumbbell jacks as well. So again, 40 seconds you guys work, 20 seconds you would chill. I'm gonna cue it up here in 10 seconds again. Whatever dumbbell load you guys have at home is fine. We're trying to make the light loads honestly go a long way. So the first one, the dumbbell floor chest press. When you guys sit up, again, this works from the floor or from the bench. And again, even if the load is light, you guys can slow it down, let it have a deep stretch, kind of go that time under tension route, you can even cut the pattern short, so you might not go to full lockout, but again, you're just controlling the pattern. Again, this is kind of that standard bench press grip. You guys can also go the neutral grip, especially from the floor, which is more tricep heavy for you guys, packs your shoulders a little bit tighter, but still lets you go for each motion for the entire 40 seconds. You guys have 20 seconds to transition. We'll go goblet squats next. Again, if you guys don't have a ton of heavy load, again, the pulsing variations, playing the range of motion short will mess with it. We'll make the 25 pounds feel like it's 250 pounds if we need to. So again, you guys just pack it tight. Like always, push the heel back straight chest out. We're just squatting slow on the way down. You guys can sprint up, but just be slow and own the pattern on the way down. Or you guys could speed up the reps and see how many max reps you can get in with that light load in the 40 seconds. Both options work. I don't mind either way. And again, you guys can also cut the top short. So if you never lock out fully, the tension always kind of lives on the quads and that gets gross pretty fast. You guys can chill for 20. Go the dumbbell bent row. And again, I'll show two options. One, just a standard hip hinge. You guys are gonna bilaterally row. Then we can try the unilateral variation too. Both ways work. You guys can have four rounds. Play with it, have fun. The biggest thing when you guys sit up is posture, right? So again, soft knees. I'm gonna hinge the hips. My back is flat. Notice I'm not rounding. So once I'm here, I control it. An easy cue for you, a lot of you guys is to pull that chest forward, breathing with every single repetition, squeezing the shoulder blades down and back. Now, you guys can also go kind of that unilateral row, the alternating variation. Most of you guys, neutral grip, probably the most popular. You guys can also flip it, go that underhand, kind of supinated grip, more bicep heavy, or overhand, which naturally is gonna pull higher a little bit more upper back hip for you guys, but again, all the variations work. From there, the dumbbell reverse lunges. You guys have two options. One, we can go goblet style. You guys can make it heavier. You guys can rack it and do the same thing for your goblet squat too. So this one just go, just normal goblet stance, nothing crazy. And again, just you guys stepping back, slow and control. If you have a range of motion, that back knee, you just give the floor a little patella tap or you guys can cut it just short. It doesn't matter. The biggest key is the front leg is my work leg. The back foot is just like a kickstand. Nothing crazy is happening. So again, taking your time as you guys flow through it. So this last one, the seal jacks. This one's terrible. The lighter load you guys have, the better. Basically what's gonna happen is, hurry Kimberly. Every time you guys jack the feet, those hands are gonna go up. So typically, feet are blocked, hands together. When you guys start the pattern, it can be slow and controlled. If you guys have a light enough load, 
you can try to go at a pace of one per second. If you want to make it more strength heavy, do a rep, reset every single time, or just find a pace that works for you guys for all 40 seconds. Again, the heavier the dumbbell, the rougher this gets. All right, we're back to the start. Well, Heather, tagging, shingo, chest press. Woo! Oh, from the bench, she'll sit it up. Super easy. She'll just take her time. Lie black flat, and again, just letting it stretch. Nice, easy pace. Woo! Controlling the weight, and again, if you guys have not done dumbbell jacks in a while, they get gross very quickly, especially 40 seconds worth. If you're going to pace one per second, Woo! that's no joke. But again, when you guys are here, you're just controlling it. Whatever grip you feel comfortable with, nice, full, Range of motion on everything and just breathing through every single rep. And she'll have 20 seconds to chill, then she's just gonna go just a basic dumbbell goblet squat. Again, if you guys don't have a ton of load at home, you can take both the weights, stack them together, some water jugs, some bricks, a small child, paint bucket. I dig it all. So again, she's just squatting through space. Again, like we teach all the squatting, you guys are pushing through the heel, your back straight, chest is out. Again, whatever your full range of motion is. And again, the speed and the cadence of this is on you guys. So if you start to fatigue out, take more time in the upright position. If you feel it's easy for you, again, either speed up the pace or just slow down the eccentric portion of it. And again, I'll show some different variations uh, when we pop in around three, but again, this is a nice good pace you guys can follow along with at home. Three, two, one, All right, now we're gonna go into the dumbbell bent rows here. Again, the biggest key when you guys do this is keeping a neutral spine. So again, nice flat back, nothing's crazy. And if you guys start to struggle with it, I would err on being a little bit more upright than hinge if you really struggle. But find what works for you guys. And again, all you're doing is just breathing through every repetition, squeezing the shoulder blades down and back. Imagine you guys have like an orange in between your shoulder blades and you're just trying to juice that bad boy and get some orange juice running down your butt crack. You guys know what I'm talking about. So again, taking your time. Is breathing and squeezing as you guys roll through it. Just about 10 seconds to go. Again, if you guys struggle with it, you can slow it down. If not, you guys just get a good contraction through full range. Three, two, one, and we're chilling. All right, guys, we're gonna go that dumbbell reverse lunge pattern next here. So again, you guys set up. Again, you guys can alternate the steps. You can also go single leg steps, does not matter to me. Almost kind of like a split squat variation, but have fun with it. Do what you guys can handle. And again, when you guys are striding back, just know the bigger the stride back, the more stretch it's gonna be. Probably a little more ham heavy. The shorter the stride you guys make, it's gonna be a little more quad heavy. But both variations work. Again, play with it and kind of find that mid range that works for you. Again, you guys are about halfway in, just breathing and flowing through it. And again, if you guys don't have a ton of weight at home, again, you can always either speed up the variations or go the single leg variation if you want to overload one side over the next. And we'll chill. Then we'll go into the dumbbell jacks here. So Heather has a 10. Uh, for most of you guys at home, that's probably more than enough. Uh, as you're going to see here, as she goes through it, it's going to get taxing for her quick. If she struggles with it, she could always dump the dumbbell if she needed to, or simply just slow the pace down. So again, 40 seconds of this is an eternity. That in itself is a pretty legit workout. So 
If you guys are at home and you're like, wow, he wasn't kidding, take your time and just breathe, do what you can. She is about halfway in, so that's 20 seconds. And again, her pacing is just quicker than one per second. So she probably getting about 45 to 50 reps in the 40 seconds, which is murder. And again, even 10 pounds goes a long way here, you guys. So we're going five, we'll go four, three, two, one, and show, show. And then I'll tap in, I'll go back to the dumbbell chest press here, quick. So for my guys at home, we're a little bit stronger. You don't have heavy load. You can always go flies as well as a chest press. So if you guys are at home, your loads are light enough. If you have it, you can go dumbbell flies, let it stretch, you kind of hug that tree as you flow through it. So you can go half time dumbbell flies, and then you go half time pressing if you want. So again, so let's say you went flies half the time, now we'll go presses the second half. Again, full range of motion. Again, if your loads are light, you guys can speed up the tempo if you feel comfortable. I'd say a little bit slower on the way down, but you can still push up rather quick. So you're still exploding from the bottom, but slowing down the east entrance. So again, go back to the goblet squat again. Now when you guys are here, if your loads are light, you can keep two dumbbells. If that becomes heavy, you can always go back to the single variation. So let's say you're at home, you're stronger, maybe you got two 10s, 220s, 225s, like it's here. We can block these together, almost like a rack squat would be. We can go rest, pause, hold it for a second, explode up. I'm down slow, hold the bottom for a second, explode up. So now you're working on just generating that kind of considered force from the bottom. Also great for your mobility and allows you guys to really own the pattern and kind of sink into the bucket for a full second. Gold standard would be probably elbows just inside the knees. And again, you guys can speed this up, you can slow it down, it's your workout. And we'll go back to the dumbbell bent rows here again. You guys can play with it. I'm gonna go a pattern, bilateral, single, single, and then we'll go back again. So again, as you guys go through, just play with it, have fun. It's your workout, make it your own. Again, biggest key, push my butt and hips back, back is flat, squeeze, single, single, bilateral squeeze, back to single, back to single, and squeeze. I like to mix it up. You guys can feel the difference between light, excuse me, the right and left side. Any imbalances you have, you might notice as well. And again, just gives you a little bit different option to play with, keep things fun. You guys won't get bored if you float through it this way. Single, single, back to double. I'll give it another single, single quick, and final row, little squeeze. Perfect. So again. We go reverse lunges here. I'm gonna go single version, half time, and then single the other time. So think of it like a split squat, except you're gonna reset every time. A dynamic lunge is basically just a split squat variation either way. So I'm gonna keep the right leg the whole time. So I'll step back, right leg, touch, my right leg. So I'm just reverse lunging on the right leg for half the time. So first 20 seconds, I'm going all right again. That right foot is pushing through the heel every time. At halfway point, I'll switch. Now left leg is taking all the load. So again, driving through the left heel, feeling the quad and the glute squeeze as you guys step and drive into it. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. And the last one. We'll go dumbbell jacks. Now, I'm gonna show a variation here for you guys. If your weights are super light and you're a stronger dude or a stronger female, five, 10 pounds probably max, if you have it, fear together. You can go singles as you press. So, it's from the neutral grip, a little bit wider than with the dumbbell, 
I'll let you guys prep stuff. You can speed it up if it's easy for you, or when it starts to beat your ass, you guys just slow it down. Again, controlling the reps, getting used to it. It's very shoulder girdle heavy, but you guys do what you can. We'll do eight, seven, six, five seconds. Chest press, for each. Good, you guys are taking your time, doing what you can handle. Three, two, one. And again, just good, full range of motion. Don't do more than you can. You're just kind of bowling in your own lane, making it as difficult as you guys need it to be, not to crush yourself, but to get as much quality work in as you can while going through full range of motion, staying injury free, pain free the entire time. All right, you guys at home, you got about 10 seconds left to go. We'll go nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, and we're chilling. A little gobble squats next. And if you guys for some reason didn't have any load at home or you wanted to mix it up, uh, you could always go, you know, semi squat, squat jump, low impact drop squats, all the variations I like. But if you have some weight, let's use it today. Again, keeping it funky. Again, you guys, every single time we drop in the bucket, whatever your full range of motion looks like, you come up top, you want to give the glutes a little squeeze. You can, but the biggest key is worth working on the eccentric portion of this squatting through full range of motion the entire time. But it looks pretty good so far. Nice, you guys. 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds. Last time you guys are there, just breathing with me. Five, four, three, two, one. And in 20 seconds, we'll go back to our dumbbell bent row variation. Again, a little key for you guys. If you never want to lose the low back, don't lose your upper back. So what I mean is you squeeze the shoulder blades when you guys hip hinge a little bit. There's always a little tension there. You don't got to go crazy. But again, see she just hinges at the hips and it's just a nice easy row. She squeezes the shoulder blades. Again, it's your guys' call. You want to go unilateral, bilateral, the alternate variations I like. Most of you guys, that kind of neutral grip is what's natural for us as humans. But again, play with it. You go underhand, you go overhand, low row, high row, hit all angles of the back. I dig it. And again, you can make a game out of it. So you almost get lost in the 40 seconds as opposed to just trying to be in the suck of it, which it does get gnarly pretty quick. About five seconds, everybody. Three, two, one. I dig it. And we'll go reverse lunges here. You can go both dumbbells if you want to go crazy. Yeah. Again, she can go rack position with these. If you guys struggle with that, you can always hand load them at your sides too. Both options work. Does not matter. Everything is fine. Again, you play with it. Again, she wants to make the load heavier. So yes, instead of going that goblet style, she's hand loading it. So instead of her going uh, just 10 pounds, now the load becomes 20 pounds. Reverse if you guys want to make it harder, you can take the dumbbells, you can put them in the rack position, which gets ridiculously tough quick. If you guys want to go beyond that, you can put them over your head if you want to go super crazy, which gets insanely tough. And most of you guys, this rack position, a little bit more core heavy, your abs have to do the work, and yeah, overhead at 20 pounds is gnarly. It's just 10 seconds. So if you guys got it, give it the last 10 seconds, try to put it over your head. See how many reps you can squeeze in. Again, nice good posture the entire time. Looks perfect. Two, one, whoo! Again, now that's a lot when you guys pair it next to the dumbbell jacks, which gets real spicy real fast for everybody. So, again, if you start to fatigue out with this, you guys can always go, let's say, dumbbell jacks half the time, or maybe go 10 reps on, 10 reps off, whatever you want to do. But if you can make it, this is the last thing you guys are doing. 40 seconds, just boom. Just find the rhythm. You're breathing the entire time. So you guys simply just flow through it 
and just put in the work here. Awesome, you guys. You are 25 seconds to four, three, 22, 21. You guys are halfway in. Just know you guys get a little bit of breather after this, so if you can punch it for about 15 seconds. Eight, this is great for your abs. Obviously, the shoulders are lit. So your legs have to go in aerobically. The heart rate's already through the roof. So just last 10 seconds, you guys finish it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. In business. All right. We'll do a finisher here. Uh, I'll pop in for this. Fumble. We're trying to go a minute of burpees, which uh, admittedly, I'm not really looking forward to doing this, but I will do it with you guys. So if you're at home with me or you're watching live, wherever you're at, we're going to go 60 seconds of burpees here and let's say 15 seconds. So again, depending on what you guys can do and handle, throw a push up in if you can. If you're not a push up person, don't worry about the push up. I'm going to just take a nice easy pace here. See how many I can get done. Maybe 20. Three. We'll see. Maybe more, maybe less. Oof. Oh, those are rough. You guys can stay on my pace, cool. S10. In a minute. So again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, you guys, for all four sets. Take the load you can handle. Take a small pause at the end, maybe 30 seconds. Rip out as many burpees as possible. With push-ups, 20 is a good goal to hit in a minute. With all the push-ups, probably 25 to 30, give or take. So my heart rate's up, as you guys can tell. Any questions, tag me below or things you guys want to see. Have an amazing Friday. I'll talk to you guys soon.